Hi guys, welcome to my channel where we talk about everything from tech to films and all the fun stuff in between. In today's video, let's look at the smart speaker by Amazon, the Echo Show 8. Honestly, I was one of those who felt a smart speaker was not necessary, especially when I already had Siri as the digital assistant on my iPhone and the iPad. But the popularity and the low cost combined with an insanely crazy Prime Day deal made me hit that buy button on the Echo Dot smart speakers. I have a pair of them upstairs and downstairs in my home. They costed only about £25 each and hands down, I can say that this is the best £25 I've ever spent. I was really amazed at how much we use it on a daily basis, from news to music to controlling smart bulbs. And even my daughter falls asleep to the soothing piano music. We use it that much. And another crazy Prime Day deal made me get this Echo Show 8. It's an 8-inch touchscreen smart speaker from Amazon. And in this video, we'll unbox it and see if it is worth it. Before proceeding, guys, please do subscribe to show your support so I can continue making these videos for you. And whilst you're there, please hit that like button as well as YouTube algorithm will like my video and push it to more viewers. So here we go. Considering the cost of the item, Amazon really does a good job with the packaging. So first thoughts, it's a bit heavy as it packs the speakers and there is no grab handle to hold. But yes, this entire unit is of very decent quality. The front is dominated by this 8 inch touchscreen. The screen is not full HD, but it is HD at 720p. Buttons and ports wise, you've got this mute button on the top along with volume up and down. You also have a camera switch cover to the right. Neat little touch if you're concerned about privacy. At the back, we have three ports, one for power, then USB-C, and then there is a 3.5 mm headphone jack. Something which you don't find on devices nowadays. So that's the physical stuff dealt with. Let's power it on. One thing which I wish these devices had was some sort of standby battery. It doesn't have to be that much, but maybe like 10 to 15 minutes. So when you unplug and move it around your home, it doesn't power off. Unfortunately, none of these speakers have that feature. Okay, the setup is quick. Great thing is that if you already have Alexa smart speakers connected to your home network, then this bounces off information from those. So you don't need to re-log in and authenticate this new device once again. You need to mention which location the speaker is going to sit in your home and give it a name. And that's it. You're all set. You can give it commands and it not only responds, but also shows relevant information and pictures on that touchscreen. Same with music. On the tracks which support that, it shows lyrics so you can sing along. And one thing which I have to mention here, considering that this is first and foremost a speaker, is how amazing the sound quality is. I here have my Bose SoundTouch speakers which costed over four times what this Echo Show costed me. And in comparison, the Echo Show sounds pretty decent. It's not exactly as good as the Bose speakers, but it's not bad either. There is decent bass and the sound gets loud enough to fill a big hall room. Let me try to demo this with a royalty free music soundtrack. So 
what does adding a screen to Alexa does? It's almost like all this while you've been talking to someone or the phone without seeing their face and then you get to meet them in person for the first time. So it's basically giving your personal robot assistant living in your home a face. And how amazingly useful that is. You'll find out as soon as you start using it. And it is also a touchscreen. So you can quite easily navigate around if you don't want to keep asking Alexa to do things. The touchscreen is not super fluid like what you get on the Apple iPads. But it is pretty decent and very easy to use. So what are all the benefits of having a screen to your smart speaker? Food recipes can be pictures and it's very helpful whilst cooking. Songs, like I mentioned, can show lyrics. You can see album covers and artist information. You can also ask it to search for pictures. And whilst playing games, you don't have to just rely on voice. You can actually view what's going on. But the smart speaker with a touchscreen capabilities do not just stop there. This is a HD screen again, which means you can watch movies on it. It supports Amazon Prime videos and Netflix, and you can actually watch movies and TV shows if needed. I wouldn't put it on my lap, on my bed and watch movies instead of doing it on the iPad, but you can do it if needed. However, I think this feature is more suitable for playing maybe a TV show or a video in the background whilst you work or cook. And that brings me to the web browser. Amazon calls these apps as skills and you can enable that as the device comes with Firefox web browser. And with that, you can ask her to open YouTube and then play videos via that. This is more useful than say watching movies on the small device as you can keep playing your favorite YouTube channel in the background whilst you do your chores. Now, the features of the smart speaker assistant does not just stop there. Adding smart compatible gadgets will tremendously increase its potential. And slowly, bit by bit, you can even make your home turn into something like the one from Jetsons. Besides using smart plugs and bulbs that turn and off at desired schedules, I also recently added a robo vacuum that can be controlled via Alexa and a ring doorbell, which is really amazing. And an Alexa device with a screen takes this to the next level as you not only get notifications if someone is at the front door, you can even see them and talk to them. And this brings me to the included camera. It's only 1 million pixel resolution, but it really offers an unparalleled communication option. As long as you have decent Wi-Fi, you don't have to worry about anything else like running out of battery or incurring additional costs. You can simply video chat with your loved ones for hours at end. And this device also includes a physical cover for the camera to protect your privacy. It's not software operated and is a physical flap so you can be confident that it's 100% doing its thing. Finally, every week I get an email listing all the new things that Alexa can do. This only shows how serious and committed Amazon is towards this product lineup. These new skills keep making the product even better and more useful in your day-to-day -day life. So in conclusion, I strongly believe that no modern home should be without this smart speaker. It is really so much more than just a speaker that plays music. It can be your personal virtual assistant that keeps time, checks weather, plays music and videos, knows your routine, answers the doorbell, keeps your kids entertained and so much more. And adding a screen to an Alexa smart speaker is like adding a face to your personal robot assistant. And I highly recommend that you do this mod to your personal assistant. But always buy these Alexa devices during Prime Day sales, like the one which is going on at the moment, as they really get insane discounts. So that's all for now, guys. Hope you liked my video. If you did, please comment down below and let me know. Please hit the like button so this video gets pushed to more viewers in YouTube land. And please do subscribe and show your support, guys, so I will continue making fun and informative videos for you. 
And as always, thanks a lot for staying with me until the end. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.